Welcome to this bite-sized, memorable look at the world around us. I'm Jim from Nature's Work. One of the ways we can look at the variety of plant life we come across in the alpine environment, or anywhere for that matter, is by looking at the plant life forms. It's a neat and alternative way of classifying or grouping plants other than the ordinary species and family method. The example we've got here is with four species belonging to the bellflower family, which have very similar characteristics. One main one being the bell-shaped flower. So top left, we have Mount Senis bellflower. And we go to yellow bellflower, down to incised bellflower, and then the bearded bellflower. So they have very similar characteristics. In terms of life form, by far the most common life form in the alpine environment are what we call perennials. And these are plants that live for more than two years. The most obvious group of perennials are the trees. These are tall woody plants with elongated trunks and stems and branches. But we're more interested here in alpine flowers which grow above the tree line. The first group we'll talk about here are the dwarf shrubs. These are are fairly common. They have woody stems offering structure and support and great examples of these come from the heather family uh, which include the picture here of alpenrose. Uh, there's also bearberry trailing azalea for instance. So anything with a woody stem. Then we'll look at the perennial herbs, the long-lived herbs. These are non-woody and there are two main distinctions. We're going to talk about graminoids and forbs. So Anything grass-like or an ally of the grass is known, are known as graminoids. So you may come across sedges and rushes. So we would describe them as being perennial herbs, but they're graminoids. And the other one we'll talk about are forbs. So these are the non-grass plants, uh, bright showy flowers. Um, they've got leaves and stems, and those stems often die back to the ground over winter, but the rootstock remains. Rarely in the mountains do you get short-lived plants, but they, they, they do exist. The advantage is to live for a, a long time in the, the harsh environment in, in, the, in the Alps. Um, but they, they do exist. So a couple of examples of plants which complete their entire life cycle within a year within one growing season, that's from germination to flowering to producing seed. Examples of the snow gentian on the left and yellow rattle on the right. And then the last one we'll look at here are what are called the biennials. And these take two years to complete their life cycle before they die. So the examples, uh, some forget-me-nots, also there are stone crops and also members of the onion family. So they will produce leaves in the first year and then produce the flowers in the second year, set seed, and then they die at the end of that growing season. If you'd like to know more, why not join me on a course in the Swiss Alps? Alternatively, you could purchase my book, The Alps, A Natural Companion. Just go to my website at natureswork.co.uk where there's also a range of nature-based playing cards available.